Hey, what's going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and we're back again with some really exciting content. But first, an update on the channel and let me say, wow, it has been a crazy ride. When I first started this channel, my goal was to get to a thousand subs by the end of 2022. With all the amazing support from this community, we've gotten up to 2.5 thousand subs, 93,000 views, 5,000 watch hours, and 350 people in the Discord. You guys encouraged me to open up Patreon, which allowed us to do a giveaway already. We've already given away a month of Nitro, so keep a close eye on the Discord. We're gonna be running giveaways as often as I can. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This channel's growing so fast, the community's growing so fast, and the bigger we get, the better content I'm gonna be able to create for you guys. So today, we're gonna try out a slightly different style content. There have been so many cool things I've seen come out in just the past week that I really gotta share them with you guys. Sit back, relax, and let's get to it. So she hasn't been on the scene for very long, but already she's making some major waves in the Flipper Zero community. And I'm talking about none other than Clara Crazy and her extreme firmware. Now, this isn't just any old fork of Rogue Master. This may be one of the spiciest custom firmwares there is right now. So this is a full top to bottom reskin of absolutely everything. We've got all sorts of new animations. She's got actually different level animations all the way up to level 30. Every single level, you're gonna unlock a brand new animation. Every level higher you get, the spicier the animations get and word on the street is there's a special surprise at level 30. So let's pop on over to Q Flipper and let's take a look. Plug Flipper in, kabam. And we're already greeted with some spiciness. As you can see, Absolutely new animations, no dolphins here. Now, I know that not all the animations are quite as polished as some of the other ones are. I know other reviews have been done where some of the uh, animations look more like a Rorschach test, but believe me, a lot of them are actually pretty solid. However, the NSFW part of this firmware really barely scrapes the surface. There's so much more going on here. So first of all, we can pop into our applications. And we can see that it's got pretty much everything in there. I know she went through and scraped out all the broken applications from Rogue Master, and she's gathering as much, uh, there's many applications as she can find to try to round out the package as well as she can. Also, go back, check out, there's actually a ton of games on here. There's more games than I had seen in a while. I don't really typically check out the games too much because, you know, not all of them are super playable, but there's a lot of good stuff in here. And I do know that a good number of these games are playable. And she's even got the Tamagotchi in here and it actually works. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We're gonna pop out of here. And as we said before, it is actually a full reskin. So you can actually go in and then read and you can see she's got graphics in here too. She's also scraped the internet for a pretty extensive amount of codes for different sub gigahertz frequencies, IR, stuff like that. So out of the box, it's actually pretty well feature packed. I've actually personally gone through and taken a look at some of the changes on here. And it's actually a lot more uh, comprehensive than a lot of people would actually think at the moment. So if we pop on down to GitHub, I've just got some um, some comparisons between the Rogue Master branch, especially going down to the Dolphin State C. She completely rewrote the leveling system. As you can see here, all of the red items are actually lines that she removed and then replaced with a much more streamlined array system. She removed all of these if else's and all of these if counters, which a much more streamlined code, which actually seems to make it run faster and run more stable. I know she's also gotten some help from a bunch of other creators and developers in the project. It's actually pretty interesting. It's not just a lewd custom firmware. There's a lot going on here and I'm really honestly interested to see where this project goes moving forward. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to check out her GitHub and join her Discord if you have any questions on installing or anything like that. I'll make sure to have the links down below. Oh yeah, and one other thing is that there is a feature in here, let's go back to the main desktop, that you can actually go to the SFW, the safe for work mode. So you pop it over there and it disables all of the animations. So it'll just show, happens to be my digital rain background. It'll just show that you won't have to worry about anything else. Keep in mind, all of the other skins will show up. So if you load up the passport photos or anything like that, those won't be removed, but those aren't particularly edgy. So shouldn't really be too big a problem. One other thing to note is she was actually nice enough to give us a uh, no level up manifest uh, in the dolphin folder once it's compiled onto the SD card. So you can simply delete the old manifest 
and then rename this one to manifest.txt, and that'll unlock all of the animations if you don't want to go through the hassle of leveling up. All right, so now this next piece is something I've personally been looking for for a long time. This is brought to us by Oogle. It's their animation manager. For so long, I've been trying to find some way to actually view animations that have been compiled as BMs. Well, now not only can we view them, but we can actually make custom playlists with this application. Now, obviously this is in beta at the moment, but the way it's supposed to work is that you can go through and just select your own animations that you want or other people's animations and uh, click the little radio box. It will save the manifest.txt file for you. And all you'll have to do is drag and drop the uh, folders for the animations you want and the manifest into your dolphin folder and you should have a full customized playlist of any animation you want to pick out it looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing i am so excited for this project i've literally wanted something like this since i started making animations and i think this is going to make all the animations a lot more accessible for everyone. So I am so excited about this. Thank you so much for Oogle for doing this. Now, I actually reached out directly to Oogle and I asked, is there any way I can get my hands on any version of this or any copy of this? And they were actually gracious enough to hook me up with this. So again, this is just a proof of concept that would work on Windows, but it shows my animation playing in the animation manager. Again, it's not as fleshed out as the entire animation manager that they have running on their system, but again, they were nice enough to set me up with this so I could view animations without actually having to put them on my Flipper Zero. So this saves me a ton of time. Now, speaking of saving a ton of time, I'm gonna go over to Charles the Great GitHub and let me show you the script that they wrote. It's really been saving me a ton of time. What they did is they made a Python script that will take a zipped file of PNGs like you get from downloading from EasyGIF. It would decompress the files into a folder. It would rename all of the PNG files sequentially so that the Flipper compiler can read them. And it would make a meta.txt that reflects the files that are in there. So all you have to do is drop that into the correct folder on the firmware and then, you know, run FPT like you would normally making a an animation. And that's it. It's done. Wow. Let me show you how cool this works. So we'll take a folder right here. So this is where the actual application runs or the Python script runs. I made a bat file just so I can double click it. But um, you can see on the GitHub itself, they've got the actual code to make it run. In here, I've got all of my animations that I wanted to convert. I'd normally have to do this individually. I'd decompress it. I'd use ant renamer to rename them. I'd take an old meta.txt. I'd copy that. I'd change the frames. I mean, you can obviously see that's a lot of work. All I got to do now is run this. Bam! And done. All of the files, all the folders right here are just ready to get dropped directly into the Flipper firmware for me to compile. All I have to do is write a manifest. That would be a cool thing in the future if we can uh, figure out a way to generate a manifest in the process. I definitely think it's possible, but so much easier. It's going to save people so much time, especially if they're batching lots and lots of animations all at the same time. I can't thank Charles the Great 77 enough for something like this. It's absolutely a lifesaver. Moving on, next we have the new latest development in RGB. So this was done a while ago, and this was by I Need a Nickname, and they were able to actually replace the onboard LEDs of the flipper with some RGB color changing ones, and this was so cool. When I saw this come out, I really wanted to try to get into changing the, uh, the LEDs on the flipper. It's not as easy as you might hope, so I kind of stopped, you know, thinking about doing that, but I've been watching and watching other people try it. I definitely know it's doable, but the evolution of that has been crazy. So this is the next step that someone just figured out. Now this next one was done by XXUT. Not only do they have an RGB LED in there, but it's actually changeable. So he's able to program into the firmware a way to change the color of the background uh, LED. This is absolutely bonkers. And the fact that you can do this is really just brand new stuff that no one's ever seen before. Now I know where there are some uh, concerns by the devs, whether or not this was gonna cause issues maybe with voltage and the LEDs wearing out or something, but long story short, this is just super, super cool. And you know, the fact that people are doing this, I'm so psyched to see. So good job, XXUT. Now, the next bit of news is something that I'm super excited for, and I hope you are too. It's gonna be the introduction of a community-based Squatchware custom firmware. 
Now, this isn't gonna be like any other firmware that's out there. This is gonna be based off of the official firmware, and it's not gonna be focused on adding illegal features or disabling the region locks. The reasoning behind this is that not everybody wants to try to add illegal features to their flipper. People don't even typically use those features, they just unlock them as a novelty. Having a firmware that's completely legal and prides itself in that, and is really only aimed in joining together our entire community, will even have a firmware that they'll be able to talk on, about on the official Discord, and possibly even recommend as a next step after running the official firmware. Furthermore, I'm really just interested in trying to grow the community in general. So many people have gotten their flippers in the last few weeks, and there's so many more and more new users. I think adding another firmware out there that again is a community-driven, legal firmware, I think there's a place for it, and I think the time is now. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely join the Discord. Wrench has already started making assets. We've got this amazing animation I've been playing in the background here. Um, I'm absolutely psyched about how this is going already, and it's only just begun. So stay tuned, stay in the Discord. We're gonna be updating you all along the way so you'll know where we're at. And again, if you wanna contribute, definitely do. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching my content and supporting the channel as much as you have. It absolutely does mean the world to me. So again, thank you so much. As always, you'll see in the background, we've got some really cool AI generated art that was made with the Cynthia bot in our own Discord. So if you want to stop into the Discord, you can generate your own art. If you save it to the gallery, I go through there in every video. I add communities input from there. So definitely check it out. Please keep adding more. If you want to further support the channel, please check out the Patreon. There's different level tiers for different supporters. One will even get you a written postcard after six months. You'll get early access to videos, there's behind the scenes content. I'm trying to add as much as I can to give you guys some value if you want to support the channel. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. If you have a friend with a Flipper Zero, send them my channel. Chances are they'll be able to find something useful here. I want to thank our patrons so much for signing up for my Patreon already. Down below, you'll see our Swamp ape tier those members get their names on every single video that i make they also get early access we're gonna release our videos 24 hours early for the swamp ape level thank you so much to crunchy peanut butter for being a super fan squatch absolute hero already made your animation i hope you're liking it so thanks again actually while i was editing this Azlu also signed up for the super fan squatch level so thank you so much you guys are absolute legends, and I want you to know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.